It's truly a challenge every time. That's the hard part. That's the part keeps drawing you back. It's a challenge every time you step up to the plate. So we are here at the Domino Sugar Factory in Baltimore, Maryland with Ryan Godwin, godfather of drone cleaning. Earlier, you know, we were talking about, you know, obviously a very large, very complex factory here. And we're talking about, you know, traditional cleaning methods versus usage of the drone. So if you could walk us through maybe, you know, your thoughts on what this would take uh, with traditional methods in terms of lifts, booms, how long it would take. So I think traditional methods, booms or scaffolding, rope access, all that, I think you're looking at about a month to a month and a half, just depending on, you know, access and how we can get back to the docks and all that. You know, your cost typically, you're gonna need a 185 foot boom because it's 162 feet to the top. So 85 foot boom to get you there. Uh, you're looking at about, you know, 5,000-ish, $6,000 a week uh, yeah. to rent one. Yeah. So this project will probably call for two and logistically it's hard for them to get them in, you know, to get them. There, there's not many in the country and they're scattered out and they're, and they're expensive. So you're looking at probably, I don't know, $50,000 in, in, in lift rentals alone, just to lift rent. This building's 103 years old. So it's been here for a long time. So that's why we chose soft wash so we don't rip apart bricks or mortar or you know, window sills, anything like that. You know, it was just care of the facility, really. The chemical we, we chose is the, the standard bleach, you know, that most every you know, soft washer in America uses. We've got a couple little secret sauce things we have in there, but, but yeah, it's mostly bleach and, and soft wash application. So we originally planned two to two and a half weeks for this project, you know, weather permitting. Uh, so we're cutting that time in, in half with the drone. So we think to about two weeks and then you're saving not only yourselves, but your customer about 50K. Yeah. And maybe maybe two to four weeks yeah. with you guys being on site. Yeah, so the biggest thing is this is a factory. It's a live factory. Live so, factory. I mean, they, they're, they're working right now yeah. behind us. Yeah. And um, so with the lifts, you're gonna shut it down and, and hurt production. We're gonna be less invasive with the drones. We can move stuff out of the way quicker when they're running through. So probably gonna save them time on the cleaning, we're gonna save them, you know, the less invasiveness and the time of their employees being able to continue to work. We've got a little more manpower on site, washing and helping uh, the drone fly than normal. Um, so, you know, you gotta have a few more people because it's more active, right? Typically a site, you know, you and a VO are, is fine. We've got two VOs, we got a pump guy and we got the, the drone pilot here. You know, with, with everybody coming in and out, it makes it very challenging say the least, so more hands the better. But we're still going faster than traditional methods, right? Yeah. So we're gonna, with a lift, you're gonna typically have two people in a basket on a job like this, and you have two people or three people on the ground, and that's per setup. So, you know, we've got around six people total on site, uh, and we're going to this whole facility where it will typically take, you know, 12, 13 individuals to do this for weeks, for that six week period. So that's more labor cost for, for us as the, as the company. and and more time to be in their way. So the drone really helps us speed up and, and get out of these people's way as fast as we can.